Hi, I'm Elliot Miller, and welcome to this video tutorial from DaCast. In this video, we'll be covering how to create your DaCast channel. Once you have created your account, simply log in with your account details. Now I am in the DaCast dashboard. I'm going to go to Live Streams and Create New. And I'm going to call my channel Channel. You will see the option to broadcast in HTML5. HTML5 is fantastic for broadcasting to all devices, including computers, tablets, and mobile phones. You can see here that I have the option to broadcast in Flash. We no longer advertise this option as it is largely being phased out in favour of HTML5. And there are very few situations in which you would specifically need Flash. If you do have a particular reason to use Flash instead of the superior HTML5, speak to a DACAST representative. Now I'm going to save and continue. Here are the live channel options. I have the name of my channel and whether it is set to online or not. I can also add a description if I want to. I also have the option to upload a logo that will appear as a watermark in my live streams, as well as a thumbnail for our viewer portal and a splash screen which will appear before the live stream loads and when it is offline. Now I'm going to click save and continue. Now I'm in my publish settings for my live channel. Here I can change what countries are allowed and what websites are allowed to use my live stream. If I want to embed my DACAST live stream into a website, I have my JS code and my iframe code. For WordPress, I would create a post or a page, change the tab from visual to text, and then copy and paste the iframe code. Notice that you can set the width and height of your player as you need to. My other options are setting whether the channel auto plays when people open the page, if my channel is password protected or not, and if the viewer counter is enabled or not. I can also have the option to track my channel with Google Analytics. And if I do not want my live stream to appear on the DACAS portal, I can turn that off here. I'm going to click save and continue, and this will take me to encoder setup, which we will cover in our next video. Thank you for watching. <laughs>